greetings learner let's continue with this patterns in mathematics of grade 6 today we are going to learn about visualizing number sequences many number sequences can be visualized using pictures visualizing mathematical objects through pictures or diagrams can be very fruitful way to understand mathematical patterns and concepts let us see how we can visualize if we observe this one the picture here this is 1 1 1 so what is this sequence we call this all ones let us see second one 1 1 circle 2 circle 3 4 5 so what are this 1 2 3 4 5 what for we use these numbers counting numbers other name for this one is natural numbers next one is 1 3 5 7 9 these numbers are called this odd numbers. Next, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. These are even numbers. Triangular numbers are nothing but when we are arranging the numbers in the form of triangular pattern. See, 1, 1 plus 2 is 3. So, we can arrange in this form of triangle. Next, 1, 2, 3. We can represent 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. So, this is a triangular number. Next, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 10. Next, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 15. As these numbers are can be represented in the form of triangle, we are calling those numbers as triangular numbers. Next, 1. 1 can be transitioned in the form of the square same. Length same, width same. Next, 4 can be written as this, 2 into 2. So, 2 by 2. Next, 9 can be written as this, 3 rows and the 3 columns. 16 can be written as a 4 rows and 4 columns here. And 25 similarly, 5 rows and the 5 columns of the seats. So, these are the squares because 1 can be written as this, 1 square. And 4 can be written as this, 2 square. 9 can be written as this, 3 square. 16 can be written as this, 4 square. And 25 can be written as this, 5 square. So this is this in the form of square representations. Similarly, cube. Cube is this three-dimensional picture, whereas the square is this two-dimensional picture. One, this eight can be written as this two cube. Length two, width two, this one two. Similarly, twenty-seven can be written as this three cube. Similarly, sixty-four can be written as this four cube, and one twenty-five can be written as this five cube. Hope. This visualization of the number sequence is clear. Let us solve exercise problems. 1.3 First question in this one is copy the pictorial representation of the number sequence in the table 2 in your notebook and draw the picture representation. Here, this is a pictorial representation given in the textbook. Okay. So, what is the first one if we observe here? What is this? This sequence is 1. So, what will be next number here? 1. So, this answer is for this one is 1. And the represent you can represent in the form of 1 circle. So, the reason is all 1s. So the sequence name of this one is all 1s. Next, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What is the next counting number? 6. So, pictorial representation is a 6 circles. Next, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So, these are the sequence of odd numbers. So, next odd number after 9 is 11. So, the pictorial representation is 6 plus 5. So, this is 11. Next, even numbers. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Next number will be 12. So, we can represent 12 as this, this 6 the beads on top of this is again 6. So, it will be 12. 6 plus 6, 12. Similarly, next one is a triangular. After 15, upon addition of the 6, what will be happen? 21. So, the next number is 21. In the form of triangle, we can represent as this, which is a pattern of this triangular sequence. Next number is squares. Squares. 
to 25 what is here 1 square 2 square 3 square 4 square and 5 square this one will be 6 square so this representation of this one is 6 square that is 6 the answer is square of 6 similarly this last one is 1 cube 2 cube 3 cube 4 cube and 5 cube next one will be 6 cube nothing but 216 the representation of this one will be 6 rows in this, this 3 dimension let us see second problem second problem is why are 136 10 15 call as a triangular numbers why are 149 16 25 called as square numbers why are 18 27 64 125 called as cubes let us see here 136 10 call as a triangular numbers because we can represent in the form of triangular see here one can be represented as triangle and three can be represented in the form of number six can be represented in the triangle form this 10 bits here 15 so that's why they are called as triangular similarly 1 4 9 16 can be represented in this form of square so we are calling it as a square 1 4 9 say representation of this one is this is 1 4 9 16 25 this third one in the subsection this one is why are 18, 27, 64, 125 called cubes? We are calling these cubes because we can represent in this form of the cube. Let us see third question. You will have noticed this 36 is a both a triangular number and a square number. That is 36 card can be arranged perfectly both in triangle and in the form square. Make picture in your notebook illustrating this. So what does it imply? So 36 we can represent in the triangular form as well as in the form of square. You need to represent in this in the pictorial form in your notebook. Okay. This shows that same number can be represented differently and play different roles depending on the context. So try represent this different ways. So we have to try in the represent. Here triangular number we can write 36 as 1 plus 2 then 3 plus 4 then 5 then 6. Sum of this will be 36. So, this is a triangular pattern. So, this we are called as a triangular number series. And if you see, observe this one, in the triangular series 36 is there. And similarly, in this square form also 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36 are also square numbers. In this one also 36 is there. So, 36 and 36 common in this one. So, we can represent both 36 in triangular form as well as a square form. Representation of the square form is in this way 6. Bits of this, the 6 rows and 6 columns. 6, 6, 36. So that's why we are calling it as 36 square form. Similarly, we can represent 1 also in the form of the square as well as a triangle form and 1220. So here, as a sum of the 49 natural numbers is 1225, we can represent in the form of triangle. Similarly, 35 square is 1225. So we can represent in the form of square. The next number is 41,616. This we can represent as sum of this 288 natural numbers. And similarly, square of 204. So that's why we can represent this in the both the triangular form as well as a square form. Let us see fourth question. What would you call the following sequence of numbers? And the history and the side they are calling as hexagonal. Draw this in the notebook. Yes, why we are calling this as a hexagonal mean? The pattern is in the form of hexagonal pattern. Here, generally hexagonal pattern with this six sides of this all equal. Here, this is the form of the hexagonal. So, if you observe this pattern is in the form of hexagonal, that's why we are calling these numbers as this hexagonal numbers. See, first number we can represent as a 1 plus 6 into 0, nothing but 6. Similarly, second number 1 plus 6 into 1, 1 plus 6 is 7. Similarly, third one is this previous number plus 6 into 2 nothing but 7 plus 12 nothing but 19 and the fourth number is 19 plus 6 into 3 nothing but 37 the next number will be 37 plus 6 into 4 61 if we represent in this hexagonal form we have to do like this and then from the sequence it will come it will form this hexagonal pattern let us see fifth question can you think of the pictorial ways visualize the sequence of powers of 2 and powers of 3? They have given the textbook this as an example. Here this 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 square. Let us see our way of representation. 
here power sub 2 we can write it as like it gives here we are arranging the 2 power 0 2 power 1 is 2 so we are applying 4 cubes 2 square 2 cube is 8 so 8 if you observe this kind of this cubes here there are small cubes will be there will be 8 cubes if you count similarly power sub 3 also we can represent like this here 3 power 0 is 1 next 3 power 1 is 3 cubes of this one next 3 square is it is 1 length as a 3 and the width as a 3 3 square is 9 3 cube is 3 dimensional ways 27 so we have solved this one this problem is all we have solved now continuation of this one all can you represent so this is the fifth problem completed now let us revise what we have learnt. Visualizing number sequences using pictures, it will help us to understand the sequences and the relationship between them, like rectangular sequences, square, cubes. And visualization of the number sequences with the pictures is a helpful way to understand so mathematical concepts or pattern. This will help us to live in the long term. So that's why we are using this visualization of this number sequences through pictures. That makes us an effective. Thank you.